turned on to him when I went away to college in 92 and college didn't last long but uh, the impression that got left on me it was it was such a great sense of conversation amongst guys who technically were had the great ability to kind of do anything but they were fun about it it wasn't there was no pretentiousness there was exploration you know there were parts of the music I liked that were weird just because it was weird you know crazy pieces and movements like a fluff head or a, or a divided sky gosh it was I, it was one of the it was, I, it was 93 or 94 I did a whole tour with with fish and and stood in the front row right in front of Trey and I had a, the epiphany moment of this is what I'm supposed to be doing it had happened in the spring of 93 at Dean Smith Center with the Grateful Dead where I kind of went, I don't know if I want to do musical theater anymore, Dad. You know, like, Mom, I don't know if I'm going to do this anymore. And, and then it really got driven home when I stood there and they were playing, uh, I can't remember, the, in Michigan at a university. I was, it was like an auditorium and I was standing six, seven feet from the stage and he was just playing. And I had really had a moment where I looked and I went, <clears throat> That's pretty cool. I think I want to do that, you know. If you can hear the symptoms, do not affect the cause. It's quite a bit like trying to heal a gunshot wound with goggles. If you instead attempt to rest, pistol from the hand, I would not be able to equate my life the same. because it felt like there was four dorky guys up there letting it hang out. I don't know if it was because it appealed to a very crafty, uh, technical element too, um, but there was a joy that I felt from them and a joy that I felt in my heart and I went, I want to do this again. I have to do this again. And so I quit film school. I moved to Colorado. I started playing music and I met these guys. And, it, and if I hadn't heard that band, that would not have happened, I am sure. I would choose my own religion, worship my own spirit, and if he ever preached to me, yeah, I wouldn't want to hear it. I'd drop in me, forgotten God, languishing in shame. Then if I hit stormy seas, have myself to blame.
amazing. Sometimes a band gets one run, you know? They influence one chunk of time, and then everybody gets to listen to the tapes because something tragic happened or something, you know, time-wise happened or whatever. And, you know, you go to a show, and you, I'm almost 40 years old, and you see guys my age, and then you see kids that are 18 years old. They all get to now dip back into that well and, and be inspired by it. We're, we're, better, we're better that they're playing music. You know, a lot of times in this whole career, uh, our heroes don't make it, you know? And luckily, they, they kind of did. So I'm just glad they're, they're playing music and, and making music in real time. I listen to a lot of my heroes on tape, but I'm really glad I don't have to do that with those guys. We were getting ready to go. Uh, we had a McGruff lineup.